Welcome to Arcade Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.3 and problem number 3.31. Determine the coordinates XC and YC of the centroid C of the length of a circular arc AB of radius R and central angle alpha. That means there is a circular arc AB. Our interest is to find the centroid of this particular arc AB and the subtended angle is given as which is the subtended angle is d theta. DL is at an angle theta from the center. Now the length of the small strip DL is given by R into d theta because R let R is the radius then dl becomes r into d theta let the centroid of the small elementary length is this one this is at a distance of xg from y axis and this is at a distance of yg to find the centroid of the total circular arc ab i will integrate this xg for the entire length and i will integrate this yg over the entire length now what is this xg now we can see a right angle triangle with this like this let us say this distance this is uh, c and this is d now i know od is equal to r and oc is equal to xg and dc is equal to yg from this right angle triangle odc we can say cos of theta plus d theta by 2 is equal to xg by od. Now d theta is very small compared to theta. So I can say cos theta is equal to xg divided by od is nothing but r or I can say xg is equal to r into cos theta. Similarly, I can say that yg is equal to r into sin theta. Now the x centroid of the small length of uh, this dl is xz and that value is equal to r into cos theta. Now the x centroid for the total arc ab is given by xc and the equation is integral xg dl by integral dl where xg is r into cos theta and dl is r into d theta and theta limits are varying from minus alpha by 2 to plus alpha by 2. So now integral xg dl is equal to integral. I replaced xg with r, uh, with r into cos theta. dl I replaced with r into d theta. And you know very well that theta limits, that theta limits are varying from minus alpha by 2 to plus alpha by 2. So upon substituting, I will get minus alpha by 2 to plus alpha by 2 r into r that is r square cos theta d theta and r square is common and I can perform the integration cos theta integration becomes sin theta and then I substitute alpha by 2 so it becomes sin alpha by 2 minus sin minus alpha by 2. So minus of minus you will get plus then you will get 2 r square sin alpha by 2. Similarly we will try to calculate integral dl. Integral dl is equal to integral the limits are varying from minus alpha by 2 plus alpha by 2 and I know dl is equal to r into d theta. So upon integration you will get r into theta and theta limits are varying from minus alpha by 2 plus alpha by 2 upon substituting you will get r into alpha by 2 minus minus alpha by 2 which is nothing but r into alpha. Now I can calculate the x centroid of the given arc that is integral xg dl by integral dl where integral xg dl I calculated as 2 r square sin alpha by 2 and integral dl I calculate as r alpha and so this r r gets cancelled and you will left with 2 r into sin alpha by 2 by alpha hence xc is equal to 2 r by alpha into sin alpha by 2 is the x coordinate of the circular arc AB. Similarly, the Y coordinate. Y coordinate of the circular arc AB. YC is given as integral YG DL by integral DL. 
integral dl I, we already calculated that is r into alpha now our interest is to find integral yg into dl and you know integral oh, yg yg is nothing but r into sin theta as we discussed from the previous slide so integral yg into dl is equal to integral r sin theta into r dt and the theta limits are varying from minus alpha by 2 to plus alpha by 2 so integral minus alpha by 2 to plus alpha by 2 r square sin theta so upon integration you will get r square into minus cos theta and the limits are varying from minus alpha by 2 to plus alpha by 2. First I will substitute alpha by 2, you will get minus cos alpha by 2 minus, then I will substitute minus alpha by 2. So I will get r square into minus cos alpha by 2 minus minus cos minus cos alpha by 2. But cos of minus alpha by 2 is equal to, as you know, cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta. So you will get minus into minus plus, then you will get r square minus cos alpha by 2 plus cos alpha by 2. So that is equal to 0. Hence, the y centroid of a given arc AB is integral yg dl by integral dl and we calculated integral yg dl as 0 by integral dl is r, r alpha. So finally, you will get 0. Then the yc is equal to 0. That means the y coordinate of the circular arc AB lies on x-axis because of it is symmetry about x-axis and the same thing is also we derived from basic fundamentals.